Hey, I want to introduce you to uh, our new feature assistant team. Uh, this will allow you to create a team of assistants that could have multiple roles and switch between them. Uh, and I'll show you how to set this up. The video is split into three parts. Uh, first, preparing the assistants to be part of the team, creating the team and doing the demo. Let's uh, quickly start with uh, setting up the assistants. So for the team, you need one leader who will uh, decide which sub assistant will take lead after uh, the first uh, inquiry from the customer. And then you can have in between like one or even uh, six, seven um, sub assistants. So uh, what you need to do is first create the assistant that you want to have in the team. And the best is to start with um, with the leader. So first of all, you go here, you click on assistant and you choose inbound. I already have it created, so I don't spend time into that, but here is uh, Tony, the receptionist. So here, Tony uh, has default settings, uh, custom greeting, but what's important during the prompting, it only has like the script part where it says, hey, uh, the law office, this is Tony, thanks for calling, are you? current client, a potential new client, an opposing counsel or judge's office. So this already is filtering the conversation. So based on what the user is answering, it will transfer to a different subassistant that takes care about current clients, potential new clients, and or the others. Uh, the idea is that you could use the CSS teams in various ways. Imagine you have um, a dental cabinet that has multiple locations and you want to book appointments through a single phone number with multiple locations. So you come, uh, you say, hey, I want to book an appointment for the each side and then the agent leader will route you to that. So this is the main uh, assistant that is the team leader, will be the team leader. Then we're going to create another two new inbound assistants and here you already see I have uh, two new ones, existing client and new client. Um, what's very important is if you come here and you see how I've done the prompt is current client, potential new client. Please keep in mind that it's really important to be sure the naming is similar to what they need to, to go. So for example, if I had the scenario where it was a different location, write the name of the assistant that specific location. So however it's the location name, write it, no spaces in between, use only underlines and that's it. Uh, the prompt, it could be the similar way we're doing prompting, a custom greeting and so on. It will be like the transfer we're, we're going to do. Uh, and the similar for the new client, existing client and so on. The first leader needs to have a phone number attached to it. So it can uh, have a phone number. The others don't need a phone number, so you don't need to complete the setup for that. Okay, so let's move towards creating the team. Click here, click on the assistant team, and you have a name. Let's do demo assistant team. All right, so now this is created you have to choose first your lead assistant. So let's choose our Tony receptionist and then choose our sub assistants, new client and existing client for now. All right, so wait, I selected the wrong one, new client. Now, as I chose the new client, we will be prompted to add a couple of things. So. Let me explain you what those settings are. The first one is when will this sub assistant should come into play? So when the user says he is a new client. If you have different, uh, different questions here. So for example, it's like a location when the user wants to book an appointment for location X and the name of the location should be the title here as well. And when the transfer happens, you can have anything like, uh, let me transfer you or one second. 
uh, wait a minute, anything. So you define the message that it's going to say when the transfer happens. And here you can have how many seconds it will be delayed until um, until the transfer happens. So new client. Okay, one is set it. Now let's do existing client. When the user says he's an existing client. Let me transfer, transfer you. One second, save changes. All right, so now that you've added all your, uh, all your subassistants, you can save the changes. Click save. And now this is how uh, the edit of the team assistant is. Here at the top, you'll have a team ID similar to the model ID. This is also important for us for QAing and also provide you support. We have the phone number. The phone number here is inherited by uh, the same phone number that Tony has. So the leader uh, will define the phone number that the team has because the others don't have the phone number as well. So general is where you have our dashboard and um, wait a second. And you can change the name and calls. It's where you're going to have the logs as we have for the other assistants. All right. So the setup is done. Uh, there's one more thing. Let's test it out. Okay. So first uh, I need to show you what you can do else here. So you can edit. If you click here, you'll be able to edit settings that you added here. Uh, you can also delete the sub assistant. Uh, also by clicking new drop down, you can view the details. So you don't have to click edit each time, or you can add a new assistant after you created the team. So let's dive into testing. Now let's do it. I will go for the new client path. So I'll click on it so we can see if it says what it needs to say. It will say first, let me transfer you. And then, hello. hello. I'm a new client. Let me transfer you. Okay, I'm going to ask you some questions to figure out if we can help. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Thank you very much. So you see the transfer was quite smooth. Uh, and yeah, basically this is it. Thank you very much.